Babes, it's Mama from Joe Mama here, and we're back today with episode 8, part 3, Minecraft Story Mode, A Journey's End. Fluffy just had to say hi. Say hi to him. You giving him kisses, huh? Yes. Poor little fluffers. Alright, and as you see... We are continuing right where we left off. Look out! Arrow! So much for easy. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Why aren't they? You're mine. I've been dreaming about this since sleep. Wow, your memory goes back that far. <laughs> Fire away. Bye, squishy. What? Jesse, got your back. Go. Go. No. Looks like you're all alone yeah, now. That's mad. to be a confrontation on the field. I'm glad I didn't make a deal with you. Good for you. You did whatever it took to win that race, Jesse. Good to know. And you, you were supposed to eliminate Jesse. Our deal's off. Deal? No, 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 please. You 
probably think I'm scum or whatever, but you know what? I don't even care. You have your deal, Jesse. If you win, you and your friends will just leave us anyway. My shot at going home just went up in smoke. So feel free to judge all you want. Hard to hurt me any more than Hadrian did just now. No, I get it, Em. I might have even done the same thing in your position. Well, I'm glad that you get it wasn't personal. At any rate, I, I gotta go. You wanna get home? Okay, respawning is the worst. You! Hadrian wants you. Hadrian? Why does he want to see me? You made him real mad. Come on. I don't have all day. Okay, if they want to see me, let's go. Uh, really? Well, yeah. that was unexpected. No, just yes. Ugh. Hadrian doesn't allow dirty respawns in the house. Okay, well, be safe, Jesse. I don't trust them. I don't need their Hmm. Hey, psst. I need to talk to you. Keep up, come on. Come here and be quick. Jesse, you gonna do what I say or not? Hey, Jesse, yeah, over here. I'm coming. Good. I appreciate you being considerate. My job's on the line here too, you know. I hope Hadrian's in a good mood. I hate being sent out on dumb errands. Hey, Slab, do you even like this job? You know, it's got its benefits. I get to beat up people and most people are scared of me, which is cool. It's not bad, but the old builders aren't so great. So this is how the old builders live. Totally epic, right? Sometimes I just like to stand here and... This is incredible. Such amazing use of scale and angles. Right? Knew you'd be impressed. I get to hang out here whenever I want. And thanks to you actually helping us keep on schedule, we have some extra time to enjoy the place. I'll go get Hadrian. Oh, and don't touch anything. Okay. Slab said don't touch anything. He never said don't look at everything. Right. Let's look at the bookcase. No portal, Atlas. A man forever voyaging by Soren, another one? Where do these keep coming from? of you. Hey, there's Petra and Lucas. Don't touch anything. I've never seen a quartz desk before. Wow, an all quartz wall. Impressive. Hey, that's that Tim guy's armor. Welcome, Jesse. Fantastic to have you here. Just fantastic. Thanks for accepting my invitation. Well, it seems appropriate that you'd gravitate toward Tim's armor. What with everyone calling you the new Tim down there. Yes, I've heard the rumors that they're calling you that, and I can definitely see why. People love an underdog story. Give it to me straight. Why did you invite me up here, Hadrian? Why, so we could continue to discuss the terms of our deal. More terms? <laughs> you can look closer. Go ahead. I assume by now you've heard all about Tim. Repeatedly. Everyone loves him. And why shouldn't they? After all, he's Tim. Yeah, it seems like he really gives them hope. Even better than that. They really believe in him. 
Tim is an inspiration to them, even when he's not here. One could say he's an inspiration because he's not here. What do you mean? It's so much easier for a legend to stay nice and shiny when it's a fond memory. Easier to control it. I've been watching your legend grow, but I worry that with you still in the picture, it could get... messy. I was starting to think it would be best if you made a quiet exit. You don't belong here. These games aren't for you. Tell me something, Hadrian. Do you even have a point when you start talking? Or you just hope to find one along the way? Because I'm getting really tired of listening to you blab. Whoa! Wow, that's just kind of rude, champ! <laughs> Haven't you heard that patience is a virtue? See, there's something you should know about the games. No one ever wins unless we want them to. Not even Tim. Let that sink in for a moment, eh? I'm not buying it, Hadrian. Is Tim even real? I knew you were a smart one, bucko. <laughs> of course he's not real. Tim gives them hope. He keeps them playing the games, but no one wins. Ever. Which is why I think it'd be in your best interest to play along. And don't you miss your friends? Your treehouse? Wait, my treehouse? The Atlas can see where people are from, you know. So I had Mevia go check it out. Turns out you're pretty famous. I was impressed. Oh, yeah. Had to bring back some things you might be interested in. Jesse! Oh my gosh, I can't believe you're here. Yeah, this really scary lady showed up and knocked us out. Now we're in these smelly boxes. What's going on here? And that guy's voice is the worst. I can even hear it through the obsidian. Not gonna lie, guys, it's bad. We're in a world where everyone is forced to compete in these crazy games and will be prisoners forever if I don't win. Uh, that is bad. I'm so sorry you guys got roped into this. Yeah, that's... Not the best. Wait until I tell the others you're here. I've missed you guys so much. Wow. This is just... Wow. Such a tapestry of human trauma and emotion. And we haven't even gotten to the best part. I saved that for last. What? Oh, yes. Your best friend. Ruben. Ruben. So... I've heard all about him. Your best friend. Your partner in crime. Adrian, for an old builder, you are not that bright. You know that? What? I told you, bro, but my name is Ruben, but the Ruben you're thinking of, he was like a little piggy. Though seriously, dude, big fat. Nothing. <sighs> so you used the Atlas to kidnap my friends and that other guy. Why? Yeah, instead of, Jesse, instead of, see, even if you win, and that's a mighty big if, they will be staying to work in the mines forever. Or until they get a shot at competing, which is still basically forever. No! Okay, so what's your deal? If you lose the next match and go work in my mines, then I'll let your friends go. All of them. You'll just have to stay behind in their place. I hear it's terrible in those mines. But aren't your friends worth it? I don't believe it. You're just a dirty cheater. You know that I'm going to win, so you're just trying to stack the deck however you can. You wound me, Jesse. Your barbed words. Ouch. Okay, I had hoped that watching your sad reunion would be entertaining, but I'm done now. What do you say, sport? Your freedom for theirs, huh? Do you think you're worth more than all of them? Do you even really think you can win these games? You have a deal. Jesse! Hey, there we go, sport fans! Well, I tell you, I'm pretty excited about this. I think we're all winners here. But just to be sure you don't <laughs> try and renege on me, we'll keep your friends nice and safe and heat. Remember, they're counting on you. Slap! Be a pal and give our new friend a walk home. Sure thing. Come on, squishy.
Jesse, you're okay. Compared to me. What happened up there? Hadrian has Axel and Olivia. What? what? He used the Atlas to snatch them from our world. No. Are they okay? Other than Hadrian having them trapped in obsidian prisons. But he offered me a deal. He said he'll send you all home if I lose and go to the mines in your place. You didn't take it, right? Oh, dear. No! Why would you do that? Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. I'd have never let you do this. Petra, come on. I'm sure Jesse feels bad enough as it is. Come on, so I have to go work in some quartz mines for a while. I'll get out of that situation, no problem. You haven't seen these mines, Jesse. That's ridiculous. There's no way Hadrian will actually send your friends home. He'll wait till you lose and then send you all to the mines anyway. Probably, while claiming that was the original deal. So who's supposed to help us then? Hadrian and Mevia are both clearly the worst. But what about the third guy? Otto? How could he help? He's always stayed out of the more lever-pulling sides of the games. He seems like a big fan of the rules. Maybe we can use that to our advantage. Huh. He loves rules, that's for sure. Always plays by him. If you won, I know he would definitely make sure you got that atlas. That was the original deal. And he's an honorable man. Harper, Hadrian still has my friends trapped in that obsidian prison. I can win the Atlas, but I'm going to need you to get them out. I can handle it. Good. There's three of them. They're in Hadrian's office. Wait, wait, wait. You really think you can free everyone in this place and win the games? Yeah. Good luck with that last part. Do you really think you can just beat all the other teams by yourself? That is a pretty tall order. Even for you, Jesse. The old builders expect us all to fight each other. I don't intend to give them the satisfaction. <laughs> You're what? Gonna convince everyone to work together? Oh, yeah. Whoa. Looks like we got a little bit of an audience here. I think that's your cue to do your thing. Tomorrow, if we work together, we can all win together. But Jesse, you're not on my team. See, my jumpsuit is yellow. That's just what the old builders want you to think. Hadrian keeps twisting and changing the rules. I say it's our time to change the rules on them. Got that right. What's the point? Hadrian will still have all the power. There's no way he's gonna let us just take that from him. They'll just make up some new rule. Hadrian's not fully in control. Winning is possible, Em. Don't you want to win? I do. More than anything. But... Nobody beats Hadrian at his own games. Oh. Nobody. Hey! Tim did! Ah! That's the only thing keeping me going in here! Oh, that's right. Tim did beat the games, and so can we. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. Except nobody's been able to do it since Tim. So what's the point? And it's not like I haven't been trying. We all have. So what, you're just going to quit because it's hard? No. I'm just saying that we don't exactly stand a chance against those stupid gladiators. The stories didn't exactly say what Tim did to beat them. Yeah, I mean, well, it's like an inspiring idea and all that, but those gladiators are like super tough. And I don't know how Tim pulled off beating them, but okay, look, for real, I don't think I could do that. Like max level scariness, okay? Boo! Those gladiators are a bunch of tough cookies. Definitely true. No way any of you stand a chance against them. Uh, where's Jesse going with this? But that's just because you've never had a leader to help you make a plan. You've never... Oh, I get it now. And with my help, 
We're going to do this even better than Tim did. We're going to do it as a team. You might not believe in yourselves, but I believe in you. And I believe that we will be free. a nice speech, but strength doesn't come from speeches. Actions speak louder than words. Can't expect you to just talk your way through this, Jesse. My strength comes from my friends. We're always there for each other. Right. It's true. Jesse never even gave up on me. And I used to be a bad guy. Maybe. Man, some crowd. Think they got through to him? Wait, so who are we fighting then? <sighs> Action definitely seemed mixed. Yeah, no kidding. A lot of diehard Tim fans. It had to, or else we're in big trouble. Yeah, that last game is all or nothing. Well, I guess we'll find out for sure in the morning. <sighs> This is the end of episode eight, part three. I didn't realize how long it was that I had recorded it. So when I had rent or saved it, I realized that episode three was 55 minutes. And I'm like, that's not going to work. So I'm going to end up cutting three into three and four. So there's an outro already recorded for four, so this is the outro for three. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked part three, get ready, because part four is going to rock your world. If you liked it, let us know by hitting that like button. Also, if you're new to the channel, subscribe next to it. Yes, I talk with my hands all the time. Is that little bell? If you click on that, it'll let you know as soon as we post a new video. And if you are a new subscriber, let us know down in the comments, and we'll give you a shout-out in a future video. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you later. Bye.